There he is. There's, hey. there's Rita Ora's favorite person ever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did, have you just spoken to Rita? <laughs> Uh, I think that's how she introduced you last night. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you know what I didn't get? Because I was at Brooklyn Bridge. I didn't. I didn't actually. She see that, but yeah, um, mate, she's great. She was. She had grills in yesterday. She had some really cool grills in. Not many people can pull that off. I think no, you could. I don't think I could pull off grills, man. <laughs> I, I think. I think you're just saying that to be polite. I am. You're right. You <laughs> caught me. Uh, so, dude, congratulations, man! Awesome performance last night. Uh, whose idea was it? Brooklyn Bridge style? Uh, I think it was MTV's. I think it was MTV's. I mean, I loved it because I basically got to do the red carpet and then go to Brooklyn Bridge and then head out to a bar. So it was, <laughs> it was good. fine, fine with me. Perfect. Done and done. Get in, get out, get on, right? Absolutely. I find, I get, I, I, I find sitting in award shows very intense. I always, I always come out of that situation feeling like uh, questioning myself a lot. You know, I was going to ask you, are you like running on fumes now? Are you tired? Are you a little hungover? A combination of all? Um, yeah, no, I'm fine, man. I'm fine. I mean, th- th- I do this as a living. So like I, I, I'm quite used to it and uh, yeah, I like it. What was the vibe last night? Cause I mean, it's, it's such a weird time. So like, obviously everybody was there in the city and, and the red carpet looked normal. Did it feel normal? Yeah, it kind of felt normal. I mean, it's usually you would go over to the fans that are there and take pictures and stuff. But I feel like now it's, you know, like if I end up catching it here, I then can't fly home for 10 days or two weeks or whatever. So I'm having to be a bit more careful with like who I shake hands with or take the phone off to take a picture and stuff. So I'm just I'm just being a bit more um, careful with that. Yeah, you got to be, man. Uh, congratulations on Shivers. We love it. Obviously, Bad Habits is doing its thing. Chicago is loving both songs right now. Are you ready for Shivers uh, to, to turn into a TikTok challenge? Because we're on the brink. People are going to start shivering on TikTok. Uh, I, don't really, I, don't, I don't know. I feel, like, I feel like TikTok challenges are created by the people. I don't think you can, um, I don't think you can ever um, sort of like nudge them along i guess um i think right on. <laughs> the new challenge was basically just filming ginger people that people knew and being like hey ed sheeran's in the room so uh, yeah i mean yeah <laughs> hard to mistake it when ed sheeran walks into a room yeah, well i don't know i feel like people just think if if someone's fat and ginger <laughs> they look like me and i'm like i've lost a bit of weight now come on I was going to ask you about that. You're looking great. Not that you weren't before, but like last time we hung, you were just like, yeah, I've just been eating a lot of chicken wings and stuff and drinking a lot of beer. What's, what's been your secret? How have you been getting so fit? You're like, you're like the guy in, in the new man song that you wrote about. Yeah. Well, do you know what? I stopped eating a lot of chicken wings and drinking a lot of beer. I still, I mean, I still have chicken wings and, 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 and beer, but you know, I, f- I feel like, I feel like the six pack is something that I will never see. And the reason I will never see is because I enjoy chicken wings and, and beer. And I feel like any, anyone, anytime I see a six pack, I'm like, you don't enjoy, you don't enjoy food anymore. You just don't like, there's no, there's no way that you're having a burger properly. You know, it's all about balance. It's all about yeah, balance. All about, but yeah. Um, and, and, and man, so it, it, it's, it doesn't send you crazy because you know that you can have what you want as long as you are limited on it. What my, my problem before is I'd have like 40 chicken wings and 10 beers, whereas now I would have like six chicken wings <laughs> and two beers. Awesome. I, I, love, I love the health advice. This should, this should be a new segment, health advice with Ed Young. Yeah, um, yeah. Just, what, just, uh, I just put, put down the cake. <laughs> That's it. It's that simple. Simple solution. Uh, hey, did I, did you really almost retire when you when you found out that you're going to be a dad? Uh, not re- no, not really. Because I, 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 music's my life. So like, I would always write songs and I was, I would always perform. But I was co- sort of considering retiring from caring. So like, I really, I really care what people think about my music now, and I really care about promoting it. I really care. So I was thinking about retiring, <laughs> retiring from caring, basically, and just being like, I'll just put out songs when I want to put them out, and I'll play shows when I want to play shows, rather than going on a full promotional run and blah blah blah. But I think you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thirty. I'm not. I'm not I'm not at a point where I necessarily want that to happen. So um 
yeah, there will come a point in my career where I retire from caring. Well, it's crazy. You're talking about like 10 years, what a crazy long road it's been for you. Um, 10 years ago, when you released your first album, what's the difference you think biggest, the biggest difference musically with you and your sound as opposed to 10 years ago? Um, I think I'm, I think because I've had 10 years of doing every sound that uh, I've come across, um, I'm a bit more open to things now. I think like if you'd have spoken to 19 year old me and been like, do you want to make a dance tune? I'd have been like, no, but because I've kind of done the acoustic thing time and time again, I think it's just good to try new things. So, um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm more open to trying things. At that time in your life, too, I feel like Taylor Swift was uh, a friend, a colleague, but also kind of a, a big part of uh, who you became as an artist. What's something that we don't know about Taylor that you would that you'd like to share? Um, well, I, d- I don't know. I think I think the reason that we are still good friends is that I don't share that sort of stuff about her. I think, you know, I I uh, I, I literally spoke to her maybe an hour and a half ago and we had like a like long long catch up i think you know we i think lots of celebrity friendships are very people see them a lot you know it's very much like an instagram thing or like a tv thing and blah 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 whereas mine and friendship taylor's friendship we've been almost friends for 10 years now and it's it's kind of surpassed that and it's an actual we like I truly care about her and I tr- I love catching up with her I love her boyfriend she gets on with Cherry really really well we yeah I just see her on a personal friendship level rather than like everything has to be glitz and glam the whole time so I guess that's something that people wouldn't know because you wouldn't see it but you know like yeah I, j- mm-hmm. I, I she's she's a, she's just a great person so Equals comes out, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, the new album comes out October 29th. What do you want your fans to feel about the new album? Um, I don't know, really, because, man, i gotta be, I, 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 I got to be honest. Like, I don't make music for anyone other than myself. Like, I, I love my, I, I love creating music. I make music because it makes me feel happy. I've, if I feel depressed, I'll write a song about it, and hopefully that will change the situation. So I hope that the songs that I've written to make myself feel better, uh, help to like make someone else feel, feel better. But I haven't like specifically, uh, made an album for my fan base, but I hope that they like it because Mm. all my other records that I've done this same approach to, they have liked to. So, um, yeah. What, uh, what's one artist that you've never seen live that you wish you could? Uh, I don't know. I've seen pretty much everyone I wanted to see live. Um, I guess someone that would have passed away. I think Jimi Hendrix would have been pretty amazing to see live. Love it. All right, man, we're going to wrap it up with five favorites real quick. I appreciate you taking the time. I know it's been a busy day for you. So we're going to do your favorite American sitcom. That's not called Friends. Oh, uh, The Office, but the American version. I love The English Office, but The Office is just goat level. What is the map symbol that you haven't used for an album that you would like to? Uh, well, there's only one left. There's only one left. So, um, uh, yeah, the next one. So after after equals the the uh, the only other map symbol there, there there is. What's your uh, favorite cheat day meal? Oh, uh, curry, curry. Just anything curry? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, like curry, curry in England is like our our culture like it's a, a friday night curry is what people like i think i think a chicken tikka masala is our national dish like over over fish and chips so yeah curry is just a it's a wow. massive cultural thing in 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 england not so much, i guess in america it would be more like barbecue i guess would be or i don't know what like what 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 would you have on a friday night what would you be your thing you put pizza. you put probably pizza pizza okay yeah yeah cool Cool. Yeah. I'm a, yeah. Curry. We're we're pretty lazy. We're pretty lazy. We're pretty lazy here. Uh, what's your favorite George Michael song, Ed? Faith. I reckon. So good. And then last one, do you have a favorite, uh, drinking or partying story with any of the guys from one direction? Yeah, I think pretty much, pretty much all of them. Um, 
I, <laughs> do you know what? I had Harry over to my house um, when he just finished his record, um, his last his last album he put out, and we drank a uh, magnum of Penfold's wine and listened to it twice the way through. And yeah, it was great. It was great. Cause he, we, yeah, he, he, it was a really, it was a really fun night, but my mate Josh came around who, uh, you know, he's like my best friend from school. He lives over the field from me. He sort of just wandered around cause that's what he does. And he was just like, Oh, hi, Harry Styles. <laughs> just kind of sat in the bar with Harry. And then I went to bed and then he drunk with Harry until probably like four o'clock in the morning. So cash. I love your life, dude. Ed, congratulations, man. And on being a dad, dude, that's so cool. Thank you, man. It's, uh, it's the best. It's the best. I would heavily recommend it. Well, I can't wait till we can do this in person again. So if you have, if you want to break any news about anything that, you know, rhymes with like a, a world store, you know, happening, coming to Chicago, feel free. Uh, it won't happen till 2023 because next year I've got England and Europe, but I promise you we will be coming on tour in 2023. We look forward to it, brother. Nice Thanks for the time, man. man. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yep.